hello and good morning. Today I am in Tel Aviv. This is the first day that I'm here. I'm here for a two week long business trip. Today is Sunday, which is actually the first work day of the week. Their work day starts on Sunday and their weekend is on Friday and Saturday. All right, so I just went to an ATM and grabbed some cash. Now I'm gonna go off to get a SIM card so that I can survive for the next two weeks here. And then probably grab some breakfast before I head into the studio where I'm gonna meet my team. Today is really exciting because we have a offsite we're going wine tasting somewhere near Jerusalem. Uh, so I flew in at a good time. I'm going to go to a cafe to actually meet up with one of my coworkers, and we're gonna work there for a little bit. at the cafe. Half by this market over here. I think this is Levinsky Market. Um, it's really lively actually right now for a Tuesday afternoon. It's been a bit of an exhausting trip so far, but honestly it's been great just getting to see everyone on my team who I've been working with for like the past several months, but I've only ever met on Zoom online and so this is the first time that I've actually met most of my coworkers in person. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up some work right now and then probably get some food and call it a night. So I just finished dinner and I'm walking around. Uh, I'm at Habima Square, which is really just chill spot to hang out around. It's really open 
and spacious. I uh, ate at this really great restaurant whose name I don't actually know because it was all written in Hebrew. Tel Aviv is super lively at night, actually. It's around 11.30 p.m. I'm walking around. There are tons of bars and restaurants that are still open. I actually just ate dinner uh, at like 10 p.m. at some restaurant, which had tons of people inside. All right, so I'm walking around this uh, outdoor book market, which I just kind of randomly found. There's like three courtyards full of book stalls. Unfortunately, all of the books are in Hebrew and I can't understand anything. Super nice weather to just be walking around outside. It's like summer uh, right now here in Tel Aviv. And so just nice to be out and about. Something difficult that I've noticed is that there's not a lot of English text around. So generally a lot of the signs and uh, even the menus will be in Hebrew. Another interesting thing that I noticed when I entered the market uh, as well as when I went to a train station is there's there's usually a lot of security so there's guys checking your bags um, with like a metal detector. So far I think Tel Aviv has been a very exciting city to just walk around and explore. There's like all this greenery over here but it's also very both very urban but like very green at the same time and I think this city is like beautifully designed. So I just scootered over to the beach, just came here for the sunset. What's really nice about scootering around Tel Aviv is that there's all these bike lanes and you see lots of people scootering and biking along them. And it's actually really nice. You don't have to uh, be on the same street as the cars. And so it's super easy to get around here by scooter or by bicycle. The scooter scene here is really crazy. There's like five different companies. Honestly, they're all about the same. I would suggest if you come to Tel Aviv, definitely try the scooters. It's a great way just to get around and also see the city. I would love to see that sort of thing in Singapore or more cities in general. All right, that's it.